Do you ever wonder how things get so out of whack every single day at your school? I mean, today I had firsthand experience of how lack of clarity uh, and, and, and uh, clarity and roles to the goal can just derail any organization, no matter how strong uh, they are. And, and here's just what I've learned over time. When roles aren't clear, team members struggle to prioritize. Uh, they, they have a hard time holding themselves accountable. Um, and progress just, it just slows down, right? There's a, there's a rule, everything moves at the speed of uh, trust. And I happened to have a, a call from a very successful organization. I was coaching their board through some, through some uh, challenges around roles to goals and board member behavior be, and, and the structure between the foundation board and the school board. And I was like, boy, it's, it's, just, it's just really muddy, right? And so there's some signs of misalignment. One clear sign is a confusion about who's responsible for what, whether it's an individual on your team uh, or, uh, or a team itself or a division of your school or an entity. Like That's a really important question. Who's, who's responsible for this, right? Two is an overlap in tasks and uh, maybe missing deadlines are also signs. Uh, frustration, low morale with the team. Um, and, and there's critical importance to goal alignment, right? You got to, uh, there's a key. W one of the major keys to be an effective leader is being able to communicate. Uh, in fact, it's actually the most important skill I believe any leader has to have to be effective. And so part of that co uh, communication is not just communicating the vision, the goals, the purpose, the why, but it's also communicating Recommunicating and reclarifying whose role is to do what task. And that's how you drive strong self accountability and efficiency is by continuously checking up. That's not micromanaging, that's just asking questions to ensure people are clear. Uh, with their roles and responsibilities. Because with clearly defined roles, teams can focus their energy on what truly matters hitting those goals. Think about this, write this down. Where your focus goes, your energy flows. And if your focus goes towards trying to figure things out, that's on the wrong stuff. You want your focus to go on what is most important, what should be uh, being handled. So here's some quick steps for improvement, right? Conduct a role audit. One of the greatest tools we have is our key results areas questionnaire. Uh, if you want to message me, I will email it you a copy of it. It's a great tool and helps clarify roles and responsibilities and, you know, covers all that overlap and all those things I talked about that causes low morale. Uh, two is create a roles to goals alignment chart. Our team has uh, created a playbook uh, and on that playbook, it specifically does who's responsible for what. Now we're going to visit that on Monday and go back because I want to make sure that we're all clear on who's responsible for what. Looking at the past quarter, what challenges came up, whose job is that, whose responsibility is that, uh, and is there some um, unclear roles and responsibilities. Uh, and next is to foster open communication about expectations and goals. You as a leader should be hosting a weekly tactical meeting around these roles and responsibilities, in addition to be having one-on-ones with every single member on your team that you supervise to make sure we are clear on roles and responsibilities. And then lastly is to use some sort of progress measuring system, some tools or trackers that, that can tell a story. Data tells a story. And you want to make sure that, that the data is telling the story that you see or aim to see on a daily basis. Look, I would love to be able to help your team overcome any hurdles that they may have and help you set uh, clear roles to achieve your goals uh, faster. Uh, so let's have a conversation. If you want practical tips on how to align your team, hit the follow button. I talk about it every week. Uh, or maybe join me in an upcoming future workshop. You can follow us at uh, lbleaders.com. Let's get clarity and momentum going the right way together.